so so number one losing your temper losing your temper is weak it's actually weak it's actually weak to lose your temper it actually is a loss of control when you lose your temper and, and losing control is also weak so we don't we don't want to lose our temper that's that's one of our goals so again just like prioritize and execute what do you do when you start feeling yourself losing your temper stop take a step back detach from it breathe and then you got to think about the long-term victory and we've talked about this before we've talked about this before proving that you're right to your wife is not necessarily the best goal to have what you want to do is you want to you want to win the war not that one battle the one battle doesn't even matter I mean what is this stupid argument about anyways it's not about something that matters it isn't I can almost guarantee it's not about something that matters it's about some random thing that doesn't matter in the big picture at all so why are you getting upset about it why are you losing control why are you losing your temper you can't do that you can't do that so when you feel like you're coming up against the this is Sun Tzu you know you're going against a heavily defended position don't attack the heavily defended position if your wife is not admitting that she's wrong and she's refusing to budge what if you what are you doing when you're attacking her you're actually attacking a heavily defended position Sun Tzu told you not to do that 2500 years ago and it holds true to this day so what are you gonna do when they're when they're not budging you're gonna flank them you're gonna flank them you're gonna move around to the outside and come in from another angle that they weren't expecting you know maybe that other angle looks like flowers <laughs> maybe the other angle looks like dinner maybe it looks like maybe it just looks like changing the subject to something that they can be more flexible mentally on mm -hmm. because if you if you go against that hardened position I can almost guarantee you it's not gonna they're not gonna budge on it and, and all you what you're gonna do to try and get them to budge is you're gonna escalate yourself oh you're not budging I hit it harder oh you're still not budging I'm gonna go even harder you're still not budging I'm going even harder there that whole time every time you're going harder they're digging the defenses in deeper 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 because you now you've given them ammunition you've given them ammunition for future use it's a bad move it's a bad move uh, so again what isn't what the who's right and who's wrong is just not important it's so hard to get through people's head who's right and who's wrong on some little tactical babble battle of today that really has no bearing on anything in the world this is not something to be concerned about yep so it might be your own ego that wants to be right have we thought about that factor have we thought about that you as a man as a husband you want to be right too so guess who the person that isn't budge guess who the person that isn't budging is <laughs> you know, it's you, you know. it's you now you might be quote unquote right but it doesn't matter you're the person that won't budge now neither one of you will budge neither one of you will budge we're not in a good situation we're just in an escalating war of destruction and we don't want that because we want to win the long-term strategic war that's what we're looking at yep. just the long-term strategic war the little stuff in between we just not concerned about even come up with an example of a, something you'd argue about because as I was trying to think as I was sitting here as I was answering this question I was trying to think of a good ex I can't even think of a good example yeah. because they're all so stupid you know there's certain code words that, like, that, a buzz, that, like a safe that, word that, that girls that women that guys have it too but in particular I've noticed it with some of my friends wives mm. and um, one of my wife's she'll say doesn't it doesn't matter it's a red flag be a it'll be a giant red flag gotcha. that she's that she's angry she doesn't I, nothing I say is gonna matter anymore yeah. she's not gonna change her mind yeah. and she's just gonna go forward and she'll right, be right. like oh it doesn't matter I'm like, oh, okay. Well, oh, big H is angry. Right. That's what it means. Yeah. So when I hear her say it doesn't matter, I just realize, okay, I'm and now I just hit it in a, a heavily defended position, yeah. and I'm going to stop attacking it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to flank. I'm going to talk about something else. Yeah. I'm coming in from the side hatch. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, what did you just say that your wife said to you? Because you just said a code word. I mean, a. a I don't want to talk about it. I don't want. There you go. That's another one. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about this. That's that's a, that's a red flag. Well, so you got to budge. You got to budge. <laughs> one of my buddies, I was hanging around with him and his wife, and uh, her her little buzzword where I was like, "Ooh," it, I picked up on it pretty quickly. She would say, "That's fine." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and at first, you know, first couple times, I was like, oh, it's fine with her. And then I realized that does not mean that's fine. <laughs> yeah. If you'll notice, that's fine, and it doesn't matter. Right. They are all, they are all, uh, like, sort of passive, yeah. a way of saying, like, oh, let's just move on. I don't want to talk about it. That one's a borderline. Right. So what's good is when you're when you detach from these situations, you start to pick up on these things that your significant other and also there's when you're in a relationship you're in a team building environment team environment or you're in a business yeah. you start to realize that guys or people you work with will have the same thing yep well they'll say you know what it's your call mm. okay i i know it's my call but i'm not trying to impose this plan on you let's let's figure it out no it's your call we'll go ahead yeah so that means you clearly don't agree with it of course you can't say this to them because they're already dug in on the fact that you're right. you know that you're wrong so those are the little red flags you got to look out for in the world. And what yeah. it's signifying is you are coming up against a heavily defended area. I'm not changing my mind, but I'm not going to sit here and argue about it. So you know yep. what? Doesn't matter is what my wife would say. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, it matters. I can't always recommend it. ripping that splinter out. Because no, sometimes the, again, you're going up against a, a hardened defensive area that's what yeah. we're talking about here that's what the question is the question is how do you not lose your temper with your wife when you know she's wrong and she refused to put you know how you, you know how you don't do it you know how you maintain your temper you realize that you're in a you're in a strategic situation where you're just gonna win strategically yeah. you're gonna outsmart you're gonna outmaneuver you're gonna out manipulate I'm sorry you're gonna manipulate the situation yeah. that's what you're gonna do and you're going to make her think, you know what, man, I was kind of a jerk last night to my wonderful husband. Because the question, well, it's a long story, but the question was about, you know, how do you do your job when you have all this pressure and how do you t maintain your family? And I kind of went through the story of like, hey, you know, my family came second. Mm -hmm. And that's really hard for people to understand. And I went through the whole thing and I got to the end and I said, listen don't take marriage advice from me and everyone right. kind of laughed but uh but in a situation like this actually take marriage advice from me right. don't attack defended positions i've said that 47 times right now